Welcome to the second video of section 3.1 on systems of linear equations. In this video, we will define a linear system of m linear equations, each in n variables. We will also recall the methodology used in high school to solve linear systems of two equations, each in two variables. Let's begin with the definition of a linear system. When I look ahead, I see a long list of equations that looks a little bit scary, so let's look at it to try to understand what's going on. The first thing I notice is that each equation has the variables x1, x2, through xn. And these variables appear in every single equation, and the order of the variables stays the same. This will be important for us when we're talking about systems of linear equations, that we always keep the order of the variables the same. The second thing that I notice is that each variable has a coefficient. The coefficient of the first variable in the first equation is a11. The coefficient of the second variable in the first equation is a12. And I keep going until I get to the coefficient a1n. Something that's different about this than when we defined a linear equation in the previous video is that now my coefficients have two subscripts. In the second equation, the subscripts are a21, a22, all the way through a2n. And finally, in the last equation, I have subscripts am1, am2, through amn. On the right hand side of each equation, I have a constant. The first constant is b1. The second constant is b2, all the way through the mth constant here. So now we've identified that I have a list of m equations. Each of them is linear, and each of them is in n variables. So we're ready to fill out the definition. A set of m linear equations, each in n variables, is called a linear system. My remark is about the coefficient aij. To better understand the coefficient aij, let's look at one of the coefficients in the equations that we have. For example, let's look here at the coefficient am2. So am2. There's two numbers here, the number m and the number 2. Which, what does each number correspond to? The number m tells me that I'm talking about a coefficient of the mth equation. The number 2 tells me that this is the coefficient of the second variable. So when I'm talking about the coefficient aij, what does that mean? Well, the i tells me the equation I'm in, and the j tells me which variable it's the coefficient of. So the coefficient aij refers to the coefficient of the jth variable in the i equation. To solve a linear system, means to find all the points x1, x2, through xn, which simultaneously solve all m equations. Let's look at an example that might be similar to something that you've done in the past. We're going to try to solve the linear system that has two equations, each in two variables. As a point of reference for later on, I'm going to label the equations. The first equation I'll call equation 1, and the second equation I'll call equation 2. So what exactly does it mean to solve a linear system? There's two important meanings for us. The first meaning is the geometric meaning. The geometric meaning of solving a linear system means to find the point of intersection between the two lines. Here we can see there's going to be a single point of intersection, although this won't always be the case. The algebraic meaning of solving a linear system means to find all points, or a point in this case, which satisfy both equations. How would we solve this in high school? Well, the way I learned is the following. I'm going to start with one of the equations. I usually go for the equation that looks a bit simpler. For me, this should be equation 2. And I'll isolate for one of the variables. Here, I can rewrite the equation as y is equal to x minus 2. Now I'm going to plug in this y value into the first equation. Which gives me 3x plus twice x minus 2 is equal to 1. I simplify the equation as 3x plus 2x minus 4 equals to 1. Simplifying even more, I have 5x is equal to 5, and therefore x is equal to 1. 
I can now label that coordinate on the x-axis. And now that I know the x value, I can plug x into either equation. Again, I'll go for the simpler one. So I'll plug it into equation 2. I get 1 minus y is equal to 2, which tells me, of course, that y must be equal to minus 1. I can also label that on the y-axis. And now I know that this point of intersection that I found is actually 1 minus 1. While this direct method is great for systems of two equations and two variables, we're going to need a more systematic approach to solve linear systems involving many equations and many variables. In the next video, we'll learn how this systematic approach works for the simple example that we just did, and then we'll be able to generalize the method for more equations and more vari variables. See you next time.